Hi, it's Kelly and welcome back to Me More TV. Today's video is a paleo video. Today I'm making my naked paleo lamb tacos. You might think naked, how do you make a naked taco? Well, if you've seen any of my other videos, you'll see how much I use and love lettuce. It's my bread, it's my taco, it's my burger bun, it's my everything. So I'm gonna show you how I do it. So in this recipe, I'm, I'm going to be doing some blending and I'm going to be doing some cooking. So I'll show you what I'm blending first and what I'm using. This is a great way to hide the vegetables from the children. I'm using three carrots, I've got um, three stalks of celery, two onions, and I've put in about five cloves of garlic. Again, it's all going to be disguised in the lamb mince. So, uh, this, you know, Vitamix, you know how much I love my Vitamix. And it's, it's just great. It's just an easy, lazy way of cutting vegetables. Low, always keep it on low. I've blended that slightly, but I'm going to uh, add the celery in, mix that around a little bit. Mix it around. Okay. All I want to do right now is get there, because all it seems to be blending at the bottom is more the carrot. And I'm going to move that up. And you know why we're here. I'm going to throw the onion in. Again, I've, I've thickly slice them, but you don't even have to do that. I'll get those onions at the bottom. A bit more. You want to hide that garlic and make it as fine as possible. And the onions. Okay, then that is... Look at that. There's a few little leaves in there. Anything that might resemble a piece of celery or something that I'm try trying to hide from the children, I will just pick out. That one wasn't blended. There we go. So now for the cooking part. I use this minced lamb from Provenance Butcher, my favorite local butcher. Um, and there's quite a bit of fat will come out of that. So you just put your element on a high heat. Then I will add the onion, the carrot, the celery, the garlic, and then we're going to put in some um, fresh tomatoes. Fresh enough, they're organic. Everything's obviously, we try to use organic here, and then I might add a little bit of puree. All paleo, gluten-free. You can, of course, just chop up your own fresh tomatoes, but I like the blend that they make. So the lamb goes in. I've used about 500 grams. Again, this is on really high heat. Lots of pushing and breaking, so no lumps, no lumps, no lumps. Then, we add the secret ingredients. Look at all that. Great, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Mix it together. Okay, so just mixing it all through. <laughs> that looks great. I'll probably put in about half a bottle. This. <laughs> uh. Oh, that boxing is not paying off yet. I'm not fit yet. I'm sure you know this trick, right? Take the air out, boom. If you didn't, there you go. All right, that's about half. Mm -mm. Okay, so heat's still on high. I'm gonna use a little bit more. So it's about three quarters of a, of a bottle. That's 680 grams. So you work that out. <laughs> I'll leave that to you to work out. Oh, oh, that looks so good. It smells so good. I make sure I'm home for um, these paleo tacos. I don't just serve and run. Serve and eat. I'm going to turn it down. I'm going to put it on low because it's going to simmer for a little bit now. And that will continue just to sort of cook the carrot and the onions. There'll be Nothing will be crunchy. But you know, do it how you like for, for yourself. But if you're feeding children, then I would... Um, just make it really nice and smooth. It's like a bolognese, basically, but we use it as a taco. So this I'm going to put about, I would say, tablespoon of the tomato puree. So it's just thickening it up a little bit, and I might add another tablespoon. Make sure you really blend that in evenly. You don't want big clumps of puree. You want to let this sit and simmer. So I'll prepare it before the school runs and then let it sort of sit and simmer for an hour. Mm. 
<laughs> so good. I could probably put some more tomatoes in, but I think it's pretty good. I'm not putting salt and pepper in this because of the children, but of course for yourself, add a bit of your sea salt or your pink Himalayan salt, a bit of pepper. Again, do it to how you like it. You can add a bit of spice to it too. It just depends on what your taste buds are like and whether it's for a dinner party, very casual one, or whether it's for at home with the children. Okay, I'm gonna let that sit there now. So I serve my paleo tacos with a little bit of avocado, some freshly chopped cherry tomatoes, Via Life cheese, the cheese that's not a cheese, and the Koyo, the Koyo yogurt instead of the sour cream. So look at that, the taco, the lamb mince, and then I love just a dollop of this. Then put the cheese, the Via Life cheese in, onto the hot meat because that will, the cheese will melt a little bit. And then sprinkle some tomatoes, some cherry tomatoes on top, and a couple of dollops of, oh look at that of avocado. Mm, mm, mm. Ah, beautiful. That is my naked paleo taco. So there you have it. And remember, you can put anything else on it to make it your own. You might prefer red onion. You might want to put a bit more spice in it to make it your own paleo naked taco. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I have put a list of all the ingredients um, below in the description so you can make it. I've also put a link in for the Vitamix, which you can get from Amazon. Remember, I do lots of other videos on paleo beauty and lifestyle, so please subscribe. Subscribe. And you can find me on social media at memore.tv. It's called Taco Tuesday and I make the... Waking up a sweat.